Hello, in this video we will discover how to check the status of the RP250 camera controller and how to update it to the current version. Updating is a thing you might need to do because we added many cameras with updates to this unit since last year. First of all, we need to power the unit, therefore we have a small PUE inserter and we just connect the PUE inserter to the unit and after some moments it will come alive. Since it's not connected to any camera or any system, nothing will happen except this number will glow and the panel active button will also glow. But for the rest nothing will be happening. Okay. The 250 has several menus. So there is one save menu, there is one load menu and there is an info menu. How to access is push shift and then select now. We are first will check the info menu. So we push info, you get some dashes and by using the rotary button we can go to the several lines of the info menu. The first one is buzzer. So the buzzer, if I now push, you can hear the buzzer by the way, you hear it. Now I can select off, then the buzzer is off. I will let it on for this video. Next stage is about tally. We will not go into tallies, but it's for the tally. And another tally menu for some cameras that will come in the future. Then IP, so if I push now, I can see the IP address of this unit. I push again to leave. So the subnet, same idea. You rotate 255, 255, 255, 0. It's all standard. Then default gateway, 192, 168, okay, also standard. Then the port number. The next one is the MAC address of this unit. We can see all the segments of the MAC address. Then we can initialize the unit. If I do this, watch out if you do this. If there was some data in it for a certain model, it will be gone. So if I do now, yes, initializing, ups, it will shut down and come back up again. And as you see, the brightness is lower than before because I changed the brightness for this video to a higher level. So we have to redo again, shift info and we go to the next. We were at initialize, we did. Then the next one um, is the version. So software number, this one is at 1.3 it means it needs update. We have a much more recent version now in January 2022 that we will do later on. And then LED, okay. I will change the level of the LED again to 5. It's for this kind of LEDs, by the way, you see. And for the 7 segment is this one. Also, I make it brighter again. Yes, we are back in business. And then this one is iris control for the priority. This is important for some models, not for our today. And this is for the iris calibration. So that is it about the ROP info menu. Oh, sorry. To leave the menu, you just push select. It also says exit and then you will leave this menu because it might be difficult to remember the meaning of all these symbols. You can take a look in the operating instructions. So for the ROP info menu, there is an explanation list for each uh, three letter word, what they do mean. Okay, next thing is we want to update the unit. You, we remember it's on version 1.3 and we want to update it. So I prepared an SD card, which first of all, of course, we need to update 
in this uh, sorry to format <laughs> in this unit so I go to shift I can choose save or load menu both have the possibility to format the card so I get as one as one I forgot but let's see the as one is for the ah, the scene files yes there is as one to s4 but we need the last one which is sfo as you can see because that is formatting the card okay let's go to sfo so this is scene four scene all user one two three user all um oops rob no that rob update that is for later on and this is for the sd card formatting so we push we say yes then the slot will blink for a moment oh fin in french finito in italiano so now the card is prepared for the update next thing i put the sd card in the pc i will switch to the pc screen for a moment so you can see what i can do this is my folder with all the 250 related stuff so the latest firmware by the way you can download the latest firmware from our website this one the pass website and then you go to software download that always takes the time and then first page of the software download you can find all the re related models and also the the controllers rp250 the studio cameras and blah blah all software versions are there okay so this is the latest one here it is and we take out the private folder and this one we have to installed to our SD card which also has a folder named private what we do we want it physically to be on the same place on the card so we just overwrite it by dragging it in and then it will overwrite the other private folder and now the firmware is installed on the card take out the card of the PC we are back on the controller we are still in the setup load menu I put in the card and we look now for update I say yes and confirm if everything is fine then now it is updating And sometimes the LED of the card slot will be blinking. It can take some minutes. I don't know what to tell <laughs> while it's updating anyway should be almost done I'm checking if the slot is blinking from time to time it is not difficult to see on the camera yeah but it is blinking it means it's still fetching some data from the card and still writing to the flash room inside the RP250. Well, I think it must be almost there now. Come on, boy. Show your goodwill. Okay, still waiting. That's not interesting for any video. I might cut a part of the video here yes it says it has finished oops and now so because it has a new firmware it needs to update uh, sorry to reboot itself and there we go again by shift info i will just check the number because i said it was on an old version but maybe it was not so software 
number. Yeah, so it remained 130. It means I updated it some weeks ago and forgot it. So, but the number is still 130. Okay, thank you for watching and see you in the next video how to connect this unit to a camera.